metadata utility bulk update process on the main menu click on enter view information switchboard followed by clicking on metadata utility switchboard followed by clicking on metadata utility batch operations switchboard followed by clicking on metadata utility bulk switchboard once in the main metadata utility bulk switchboard we will have the following options metadata utility bulk update process once that we click in there we will actually land on the metadata utility bulk update process tool as we see in this tool right now we have fields that allow a user to update in bulk one or many movies that may be in the Windows Media Center movie library. This can be for a number of reasons. Um, there can be a migration that took place from one NAS to another, to, from a partition to another, or a combination where a user has a multitude of different partitions or different NASs where different data is stored. For example, it can be an older NAS with a smaller capacity for a specific set of series or movies and a different NAS for a different or new movies or expansion for ex existing films or series or a combination of both. In this particular case, this tool allows the user to update those applicable movies that have been migrated from point A to point B instead of having to go through every single movie on selecting one at a time and updating the correct path. So for that purpose, we have the ability to update as we have Path Builder 1 on the top, Path Builder 2, and the same update fields for those same two uh, main fields uh, to update with metadata utility batch um, or bulk update process tool. If we actually click on one of the uh, drop down menus, we will have the ability to search. In this particular case, we have a fairly complex environment. Um, most users will have one partition or one share where all the movies will be there or all the series will be there. For this particular example, we have a user that has a fairly complexer setup in which the user has set up <clears throat> basically 20 plus different shares, one for every letter of the alphabet, and sorted all the movies and series based on the uh, starting letter of that series or, or, or film. So for example, all films that start with Q will be in the Q share. For this particular example, we're going to migrate the movies from the partition or the share Q. Once that we actually click there um, and click on search, we'll be able to actually return the available movies. For this particular example, in the share, keep there's only one movie found, which is A Quiet Place. But other shares may have lots of movies. For example, movies that start with S uh, for Spark or Stargate, Star Wars, etc. They, they can be shares that have multitude of films. They will all be listed here. In this particular case, we search by the share, but also, it is possible to share to do the same selection by combination of NAS or partition and share independently or together. In this particular case, 
uh, we have search by this particular uh, NAS, which has the IP address 192.168.199.54. And in within that particular NAS, we're searching for a particular share. This is a fairly complex kind of search in granular that made a utility is capable of. So there's lots of flexibility to search for just a share, just an ass, just a partition, or both. And in this particular case, if we search again for that particular NAS, we were still going to return one movie that we want to migrate. And uh, once that we have that movie, we can, uh, as we have with other tools in Metadata Utility available, if we want to select all available records at the same time, we can click on the select label, the select column, and that will actually prompt metadata utility to select all records. <clears throat> Once that we have selected that, we can proceed to select the target new share where we want to move uh, the movies and update the necessary information. In this particular case, if the share is not listed because it is a new share, we can double click as we have to update the uh, path builder and that would open up the available resource path list and allow us to, if we need to add, as we see here marked at the bottom of the listed form, add new, click on add new, and confirm to the question for metadata utility to add or edit the list and selecting yes. And that would allow us to place the list in edit mode. And as we see here, select one of the available fields, double click on it to put in edit mode and enter the new information for the new share, which in this particular example is called QQ slash W media new. <clears throat> Once that we have that entered, we can click on close and that will allow to go back to the metadata utility bulk update process tool and now we will have that share available to select. So we can select that available share and once that we have that selected, we can click on up Date button as it's located next to the close button to update the path or paths for the selected records. In this particular example, we would get a confirmation from Metadata Utility informing we have one record selected. Uh, we have selected the all path from QQ slash W Media, and we are going to update that to QQ. W uh, media new and if we actually confirm that action metadata utility will confirm indicating that the amount of records in this particular example one record has been updated and give us the option to go back into metadata utility directly into the selected records queue and with regard to what are the different queues available in metadata utility, we have a dedicated uh, additional videos that we welcome our users to click on. In this particular case, we will go directly into metadata utility selected records queue, and we will be able to confirm indeed that those records have been updated to the correct new path, which then we can synchronize with Windows Media Center to have the new updated paths synchronized with the entire Windows Media Center library. For more information on either this topic or additional uh, topics that we just briefly touched uh, on, we welcome all of our users to um, visit um, our website or also click on any of our available videos that we have and uh, already uh, published 
or directly the information that we have available in our website at metadatautility.com. We thank you for watching.